Good day everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we have a new tutorial. This tutorial is about how to share live stream from OBS to your Facebook live streaming. Before we proceed to the tutorial, if you haven't been subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button below and please click the little bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new tutorial or vlog on my YouTube channel. Okay, without further ado, let's proceed to the tutorial. So the first thing you'll do is to download OBS. OBS is a free software, so you just go to Google and search on OBS. I'm typing on the URL box because my default search is Google. Alright, so you will see here OBS project. Just click on that and then download it. Just select Windows if you're using Windows or select Mac if you're using Mac or Linux if you're using Linux OS. All right, so me, I am using Windows, so I'll be selecting this, but since I downloaded it already, I will not show it to you. Just do it on your own PC, just in case OBS is not installed yet. So when you download OBS, okay, I'll just search it. The icon is like this, it's a black circle, and then let's open that. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to load. Alright, while waiting for the OBS to load, you need to go to facebook.com slash live slash create so basically this is the page where um, that link will redirect you to a page where you will create a live stream all right so this is how OBS looks I'll just um, delete this video okay I know there's a lot of people who's wondering how to use this OBS. Using OBS is way better than using Facebook Live Share Screen. The audio is better, the video quality is better, and so on. You will see it when you use it. And as you can see here, I got a text here, please stand by. Let me delete that for you. All right, so let's start here. The first thing you'll do when going to Facebook Live is to go to file settings then stream for the stream key you need to go here to facebook.com slash live slash create and click this create live stream or you can also go to your profile or your page profile and just click go live and then you will see here the options so you select use a stream key you can see here the stream key and then you just need to copy that and go to obs and paste here i just deleted the old stream key that i have just for the sake of the tutorial i'm going to paste it again so Control v then apply or just click ok so there um, doing that, your OBS is now connected to the Facebook Live. So you can see here, waiting for a live video. Okay, let's try to add a text. Alright, for example, you will say, Please stand by. So that people will um, know that the video will about to start and then you can select here the font that you like okay for me i will use mm -hmm. all right whatever font that's okay and then there's another option here where you can change the color you can select it and make it like that but for me i'm i want to keep it white Okay, 
so you can play on here you can try to have an outline chat log mode use contact use custom text extents or whatever you can play with those designs and then click ok and then you place it on the position that you want it to where you want it to appear right so please stand by and then when i click start streaming you will see that here on the lower right of a monitor it's now connecting there on facebook all right so obs is now connected here and when you click go live all the things that you will do on obs will be seen on the facebook live screen all right so let's try to do that using my profile so let's try to go live i'm just waiting for it to load okay so now i'm live of course when you go live you will have to wait for people to connect so what i did is just i put this please stand by but you can also put like a timer video or whatever you want and then when it's time for me to um, show the recorded video that i want to show live i'll just click this plus icon here then media source for the name just put whatever name you want click browse and then on the desktop so that's my video then click ok alright so as you can see um, by the way the live streaming on Facebook live is like five minutes no not minutes five seconds late yeah I think that's five seconds or ten seconds late but that's okay so there you will notice that the quality of the audio is better and the quality of the video is way better when you put it live through obs unlike when you do a share screen on facebook live the video's quality is being decreased by facebook by the way there's no option for you to stop or forward a video on obs if you know a trick about that please comment down on the comment section so i'll learn it too but as far as i know there's no option to stop or forward the video and also you can make the size of the video smaller delete this text all right for example you want to put another video over here you can actually do that by but of course what whatever you're doing here on obs will be shown on your facebook live for example you want to add another media source put whatever name you want click browse again go to the path where your video is located and just click open in there and you can resize it by dragging it down or to whatever size you want and you can also put an image for example you have a company logo a business logo or an organization logo just click image again the name is up to you then click browse okay there i'm going to go here and select the logo then click ok and drag it to the place where you want it to be and then you can also add um, a text over here so the text will be test live because I'm testing and there okay so the changes we made also took effect on 
Facebook Live. So as you can see, this is my Facebook Live. And when the video is done playing, the videos will automatically exit and just click stop streaming and then click end live video. Okay, so that's basically how to connect OBS on Facebook live streaming. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If this video helped you, please leave a comment on the comment section. That would be a great encouragement to me to make more video tutorials for you guys. And please share this video to your friends who needs to know about this information too. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This has been Wences Orcales Santos. See you on my next tutorial.